I don't want to revisit, uh, you know, the debut too much because it was a devastating loss for you. But what, you know, people tend to learn more from losses than victories. You, you, you know, you learn from your mistakes, so to speak. Yeah. What did you uh, take from that fight against Mirko? No, it was uh, the problem was the Tommy was too short for that fight. But uh, anyways, it was a good experience because you learn from when you lose, you learn. So um, and you think different. So. I'm not saying that it was good, but uh, but uh, in this moment I work more, uh, I train more, so I feel good. Of course, you have a, a very good background in Greco-Roman wrestling, a member of the Mexican national team here at Inferno. You're going to take on Kazuhiro Nakamura, one of the prize students of Hidehiko Yoshida, taking on a judo practitioner. What kind of a challenge do you think he presents to you? No, you know, for me it's good because he's a judo fighter. Uh, and for me, it's good because I'm a wrestler, so I think it's no problem for me because, uh, you know, judo and wrestling have a similar technique, so I think for me it doesn't represent any problem, uh, judo. Our next bout here at Pride FC Inferno Boss features a man who uh, is the first Hispanic fighter ever to participate in Pride Fighting Championship, the first hooded man in Pride FC wearing that traditional Mexican mask. Yeah. I'm talking, of course, about Dos Caras Jr. coming off of a very, uh, well, devastating loss at the hands of uh, Mirko Krokop at Bushido. He takes on Kazuhiro Nakamura, who at that same Bushido event took care of Daniel Gracie. I really don't know who's going to win this fight. I think that both of them are really good with their takedowns. Nakamura is a judo practitioner, and he's the best student of Yoshida. So that means he's got very good throws, hip throws, shoulder throws. He's very good on a close range. But Toscaras, he's in the Olympic team of the Greco-Roman wrestling in Mexico. So who is going to win this battle? Who's going to take who to the ground? And I think that is where the key of victory is. Whoever takes the other one down, the guy on top is going to win this match. You know, this fight really does embody all that Pride Fighting Championship is about. We have Nakamura, the judo practitioner, and we got Dos Caras Jr., the Greco-Roman wrestler. We'll find out which is better coming up here at Pride FC Inferno. Yes, he's, he looks always so relaxed. He's smiling, he's laughing. It's like it's fun for him. It's a, it's, it's a fun game. He possesses a very oh, sunny disposition, and there you see the masked man, Dos Caras Jr. <laughs> I was informed that he was just wearing the mask for ceremonial purposes, but uh, it looks like he may still wear the mask for the Japanese fans during this bout. He did mention he didn't want to use an excuse or use it as an excuse, boss, but uh, when he wore the mask against Mirko Krokop, it definitely wasn't the uh, best thing to do. It did block his peripheral vision. Not that he would have been able to stop that lightning quick kick of Mirko's anyway. Yeah, then watch out, kick that kick. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, Nakamura telling us that he's been working on his striking. We know Dos Caras can strike. He's training with Marco Huas. And of course, everybody knows he's a great striker. So uh, who's going to win the striking battle? And I think once they clinch up, who's going to win the battle there? Who's going to take who down? Since so, he's a good wrestler and the other one is a good judo player. Yoshida looking on from the corner. Dos Caras Jr. will indeed wear the mask. And of course, he's the first masked and first Hispanic fighter in Pride Fighting Championships, looking to avenge the loss against Krokop, while Nakamura Ooh, wants right to entertain ahead. the Japanese fans. And there is some indication of his standing ability there by Nakamura. That was a good right hand there. Very solid. But who's going to win this game? That's what I told you all the time. Well, Dos Caras Jr. indeed enjoying the height advantage, thus the reach advantage against Nakamura. Has him in the full body lock now in the corner and trying to rein in some knees. He should be a little bit higher, otherwise we're going to have another stop here. Shoot knee again to the body. Left knee. There he looks like he was attempting an Uchimata, which is of course the trademark move oh. of Yoshida. But Dos Caras standing up again. I told you, he's a great Greco-Roman guy, but he, hey, here we go. Nakamura has the takedown. And into the open guard of Dos Caras Jr. But Nakamura staying busy. Yep, he's already escaping it. He's going to half guard and now he's got the Looking side mount. The side mount is Nakamura. What do we see him attempt to do here against the judo? He is the judo practitioner, Dos Caras Jr. with the Lucha Libre background. He's three and three in his MMA career, looking to move up here in Pride Fighting Championships. 
He's doing a great job. He threw already a left knee to the body there, to the side of the body of Toscaras. Toscaras has to get out his... That's what he should do. Or Try to get out armbar coming up. Arm bar or a leg lock. Bar or a leg lock is yeah. right. Now he's attempting that arm bar. Is Nakamura, will he have the power? There's Dos Caras Jr. turning into it, being rolled over. Very nice escape by Dos escape. Caras Jr. Into Very a guillotine nice. position. Now they oh, stand up high like roundhouse it. blocked by Nakamura. Very good. He escaped this nicely. Straight ahead goes Dos Caras Jr. back into the corner looking for the full body lock. Nakamura has the underhook in. Nice transition there, boss. A beautiful escape by Dos Caras Jr. electrifying the crowd here at Osaka Castle Hall. Yep, and now again, like I said before, who's going to get the takedown? I, I, I predicted you before. The one who's going to end on top is going to get the takedown. Look nice at this. takedown attempt by Dos Caras Jr., but beautifully blocked there. Nice balance being displayed by Nakamura. Yeah, Nakamura is good. He, he's got some great balance. He's coming in really relaxed. That will help too a lot. He's Dos Caras Jr. Now. wanting to uh, go the knee route, but he has to be careful. We've already seen there's a looks like a, a sweep trip takedown attempt by Nakamura. Of course, we saw a groin injury in our last bout with Alexander Otsko. We've been told that action with Marilla Ninja Hull will continue after this. Another strike attempt there by Nakamura. Yeah, it didn't hit, but it's exactly what he's trying to do. He comes in with the left right, and then he, he clinches up. He wants to go for the takedown. Looking for that Uchimata again, a, a, a throw that has been very successful. There's a nice inside heel trip by Nakamura with the takedown. And beautiful right away, he goes to half guard, he will escape this, he goes right away to the side, mind you, watch. And there, there you go already. He's still in the open half guard as Yoshida looking on, focused on his main charge here, Nakamura, doing very well thus far against Dos Caras Jr. And of course, there's that arm extended right there. Looked like he's giving him an arm bar attempt there. Dos Caras has to be very careful, boss. No, there's nothing. Nothing can happen right now because he's still in the half guard. So, uh, and he's going to go down to the full guard. But the city. guard was open, and he could have easily he could have swept escaped. aside there and gone for the arm bar attempt. It was an open guard. Now it's a closed guard. Nakamura showing some speed. There's a nice strike. Now we have a yes, nice that's up what kick. I wanted to say. Just kick him away now. Kick him away and get up. Obviously, he's earned some uh, semblance of respect there as Nakamura a little more leery. There's a nice cartwheel guard escape a la Sakuraba looking to pass the guard. Yes, an exciting fighter for sure. Look at this. Half guard, half butterfly guard here. So, you see, he cannot make the guard because the rope is in his way. Now he's got the full guard. Stop. Last six minutes of this opening round. Referee is going to move them back to the center ring in the same position. Kazuhiro Nakamura. Making his debut at Pride 25 against Tojerio Minotoro Noguera. Lost that bout, but evened his record against Daniel Gracie at Pride. Bushido, Volume 1. Now, let's see what he can do here. Those counters really has to have to go for something and try to escape this because it's always, it's never a good position, of course, to be in there. Kara's doing a good job there momentarily of grabbing his wrist because I was going to say Nakamura trying to posture up and I, I don't really understand why more fighters don't attack the ankles. That's the only way really you're going to force him to open his legs if you're smaller than your opponent and that's the, the route that he should be taking. But right now looking to maybe get into some ground and pound activity is Nakamura. Try to escape there, boss. Yep, he's trying. Guard is open, now it's closed again. Um, Nakamura is good. Hey, let's face it, he trains with Yoshida. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's the pedigree difficult. is there. Yeah, he's got the balance. You saw how well balanced he is. Now he's posturing up, and this, if uh, Karas Jr., there he's able to slip in another straight right hand. Yeah, if, if he sits up, if I would be Dos Karas, I would right away kick him away from me and then get up as fast as I can. Try to create some distance, maybe even attack the legs with some uh, kicks, but right now still solidly in that guard of Dos Caras Jr. Just a lot of jockeying going on, not uh, too much action right now though, Doc Boss. No, I, I, I have the feeling that the referee will uh, stand them on their feet if nothing happens. Of course, is the number one referee and Yuji Shimada overlooking this bout. There's a nice escape attempt. Oh, almost a triangle there by Dos Caras momentarily, but uh, now we're looking for side control is Nakamura. He's still in the half guard, however. Still in the half guard, no, no danger. Now he is in the side mount. Now he can do start some damage. Uh, he can attack Either with the knees or the go for that armbar. Yep. He will go There's for that, that arm. Is, it's right there. 
But he's got the uh, right arm of Dos Canas Jr. Nakamura now. Again, everything is about timing when you're on the ground, boss. It's choosing your spots effectively. Now full mount by Nakamura. Yeah, he probably is going to set it up. Armbar coming up here, see? Yeah. There he is. Going for the armbar. Dos and he's got a beautiful now a triangle. Armbar here. A triangle armbar by Nakamura. Will Karras be able to lift him and slam him? Yes, he does be escape. Good job by Dos Karras Jr. Wow, very nice. That was good. Beautiful uh, escape by Dos Karras Jr. And an entertaining bout here at Pride FC Inferno between Dos Karras Jr. and Kazuhiro Nakamura. We've seen some mission attempts. We've seen some ground control. And now they're on their feet. Wow. This is a good match. Good escapes. Two times. Dos Karras got his hands low. So he's got to watch out. Because those uh, flying right hands from Nakamura, they, they can they get connect. But he's not a tried and a true striker. We, he has been working with a boxing trainer an hour a day, but uh, not known for the striking. And now back into a clinch here by Karas, just kind of bullying him into the corner again. There's a knee up the middle. Not a lot of power behind that knee. No, 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 no. He should have taken the legs. The side of the legs. I think he's uh, Car Nakamura is going to attempt another uh, inside trip takedown here if he uh, gains the proper position. And really, not a lot of activity going on in that corner. No, I think also with uh, those cars, you know that that Amber escape, lifting somebody up three or four times in a row will take yeah. a lot out of you. He's going for an outside, <laughs> the sweep attempt there. Nakamura was again when uh, facing a an elite judo athlete like Nakamura. You really have to be on your game. Dos Caras Jr., of course, a big, big fan favorite here in Japan. Due to his mask, the Lucha Libre background, he received a great ovation when he entered the ring. Of course, Nakamura definitely... Oh, oh nice I overhand right by Nakamura. That's what I told you. He can connect. He's got a good right hand. Deceptive strength there by Nakamura. There's a left hand, and now he definitely has the attention of Dos Caras Jr. And you're right, Dos Caras Jr.'s guard definitely down. There is a nice high roundhouse, but again, not a lot of snap to it and easily blocked by Nakamura. Absolutely right. Um, I don't know what, what those cars game is right now. He's, whoa, oh, Nakamura getting power wild for the spot, shots there. And then like up again. Got the underhooks in. And there is uh, Dos Caras Jr.'s corner yelling for the knees. We saw him attempt a barrage of knees there that unfortunately really for him didn't have a lot of power behind the boss. No, not at all. He should load him up all the way back and go for the legs. Nakamura content to allow Dos Caras Jr. to take this fight to him now because you know at any time he can explode with those inside trip takedowns or the sweep. Now he's... He has got to have the double underhook, but he it looks like yeah. yeah the referee is going to take him to the center of the ring. That's good. It's very smart. And fight again. Let's go. Right now, I would give the advantage to. Kazuhiro Nakamura, but don't ever discount Dos Caras Jr. with that Greco-Roman background, a former national team member in Mexico. Yep. Like, and he looks like he's attempting, uh, wants to get in a belly-to-belly -belly suple attempt. Again, he's trying that high roundhouse. That blocked. For the third consecutive time by yep. Nakamura. Yep. Yeah, there's not a lot what you can do in this position here. I mean, the knees, you know, he's blocking them before they can take off, which is a very wise thing. That was a good thing to do, push him away with the right straight. All right, there is the end of round number one. Kazuhiro Nakamura treating the fans here in Japan to some great submission attempts, and uh, just as great were Dos Karas Jr.'s escapes. Yes, uh, very well said. Now, show, show us the rig girls. We can see them by the people at home. Come on. We can also see Hidehiko Yoshida, yeah. who's all right. over television here in Japan uh, as an endorser. Uh, definitely a huge, huge star in the land of the rising sun. As we now take a look at a, a fellow who may be a huge star in the future in Kazuhiro Nakamura in his armbar attempt. Yep, and there we Triangle go. He's going to lift bar. him up. Watch, he's, he has the armbar, pretty much has it. But now he's going to start to get slammed on his head, and he lets go. What an escape that was, but that took a lot out of those caras, I tell you. Watch his right hand coming now. Fuck. Nice. See? 
And I told you before, he can throw it and it can connect. And he throws wild punches. They're not, they're, I mean, they have a lot of power in them. Ghost Goddess Jr. in his corner. We have Justin Levins and Guy Warnow. And uh, they're putting the ice pack on his neck, trying to recharge his batteries. A tremendous opening round of action here at Inferno as we take a look at some more action here that Kazuhiro Nakamura, right overhand, hand. right hand, definitely connecting and scoring Mr. El Wapo. Yep, let's see it again. Dunk. Yep, that's a, a typical Igor Vovchanchin punch. Do you see a lot of Hidehiko Yoshida in Nakamura? He seems very aggressive. He, he reminds me a little bit of uh, Yoshida's performance against Vanderlei Silva at uh, the final conflict last year. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very so aggressive. Aggressive, but although so very relaxed, like we saw it out 10 seconds ago. He, and he's, he's laughing at, at Yoshida. Yoshida told him something, and, and he's laughing at him. And he's displaying some striking proficiency that uh, we're not used to seeing from the likes of Kazuhiro Nakamura. So that boxing training is paying off here at Inferno. And don't forget, speaking of Hidehiko Yoshida, he, of course, a focal point of Shockwave 2003, the DVD available very soon at pridefc.com. Oh, nice left here by those car There's those hands. Man, He's got uh, powerful hands. Quick. Yep. There's a left hook delivered by Nakamura. Yo Looking for the clinch is Dos Caras Jr. He has one uh, day hunter hooks in. And he's yet to really be able to display that Greco-Roman background in this battle. Yeah, he needs to take this fight to the ground, but he had a few attempts already, and Nakamura shows so much balance, and he couldn't do it. Let's see if round two is going to be better for him, but... Goes upstairs with a quick left hook. Uh, we've seen this movie before, Herb, and the referee Shimada not even giving them as much time as he did in round one, quickly bringing them back to the center of the ring. He wants to see sustained action here from Nakamura and Dos Caras Jr. Yeah, he should attack with a left right, so Dos Caras like a one-two, and then simply follow up with a kick. There's a nice kick to the body by yep. Dos Caras Jr. Into the final four minutes, one minute's gone in round number two, and they are standing up, and Dos Caras beginning to pepper him now and brings him along the road, boss. Yeah, that's exactly what he should do all the time. He's got the double underhooks now. Now this is where he can show off his uh, Greco-Roman background. Yes, a full body lock, and he'll try that belly-to-belly -belly souple if he is able to maneuver Nakamura. But again, Nakamura with a great base, some tremendous balance we've seen. And now he puts in a right hand and another one. Three, yeah. matter of fact. And again, while there's not a lot of damage being done, they do score, they do, of course, uh, keep your opponent off guard. Those cars shoot really knee here. Really wang, that's what he should do. He needs to load up with those knees. Nakamura, of course, cognizant of that. You see his right hand down low, looking to block any knee activity from the Mexican star. Maybe just give some knees, suddenly push out, and then attack. Oh. Look at this. Looking for that outside heel trip was Nakamura. We're at a stalemate here. I guess a regular Mexican standoff between Dos Caras Jr. and Kazuhiro Nakamura in round number two with three minutes left now in this bout at Pride FC's Inferno. Yeah, Yuji Shimada breaks him up again. He gives them both a warning that they should fight. Otherwise, they're both going to receive a yellow card. There's Dos Car straight ahead, and again, Nakamura loading up with that overhand right hand. No distance there for that kick, and now Nakamura no. goes in, gets one underhook, looks for both underhooks here now, looking for the takedown is Nakamura. Yeah, but he can get it. It's They're, they're both very well balanced, you know. Um, oh, for sure. Both of them possess tremendous vertical bases. From this position now, I would say, if I was the referee, okay, in this position, you cannot be at longer for like five seconds anymore. And there's a great balance oh, nice. and a nice knee to the head by Dos Caras Jr. capitalizing on that, uh, again, outside heel trip by Nakamura. The attempt unsuccessful once again. Yep, and you hear Yuji, Yuji Shibana screaming for action. They have to move. We have only two more minutes in round number two. They have they need to, to do create something distance, here. boss. They need to create hip separation and go for the offensive. Now they're going to get the yellow arsenal. card. I, told and you. I do believe that you're right. Yellow card being given to both fighters. Limited amount, almost non-existent. The action in the corner. Hideko Yoshida looking on. 
probably not very happy as well with what he is seeing right now. Very happy with what happened in round number one, but now round number two, both of them sluggish and just willing to hang on to each other here in a clinch. Yeah, and it's like I said, they, he should he should hit a clock now, right now, because this is you know very this is not entertaining for the audience. At least it's not entertaining for me. It doesn't work. Uh, we've seen this. We've been in this position now like six, seven we've times, and nothing happens. We've been in this happened, position so. ad nauseum with emphasis on the first part of that uh, second word. And right now, this is something that I'm sure Yuji Shimada may even uh, step in and bring them just to the center of the ring again because while we're starting to see a little more activity out of Dos Caras Jr. Nakamura, but this the second round really has been uh, a yeah. waste pass. It's a, it's, yeah, it's a hang round. It's like exactly like you said, Moro. He should create distance and fully load up those knees, full power. When Nakamura's going to block him, then maybe you should have let him go and then go for strikes. And Nakamura can do the same nice thing. Nice knee there by Nakamura. And he looks like the fresher of the two, in fact, as he's just been content to allow Dos Caras Jr. to uh, attempt any offensive maneuver. Nakamura again just hanging out in the corner. And, whoa, you saw there a, a feigned attempt at that outside heel trip. Yep, 30 seconds to go. Yeah, this is... Um... And Nakamura becoming uh, frustrated. You can see him now. Trying to charge himself up here. Kick attempt and it scores there by Dos Caras Jr. Nakamura really wants to show off his striking ability in this bout. Yeah, they're waking up right now, it looks like. They hear the audience and they think, okay, we have to move here. They got only like 10 seconds left. They really have to start working. Oh. Round now, number two is in the books. I don't think it was a very good read, but uh, no, Nakamura and Dos Caras Jr. <laughs> We'll go to round number three, and I'm sure the emphasis, both corners will be more sustained action. And we are being told that uh, Alexander Otska is still attempting to recover in the dressing room. We were told that the uh, fight between he and Murillo Ninjahua would continue after this bout, but um, I don't I, know if that's going to be the case. I don't know it, uh, either. I. Ooh. It looked like very serious when he was carried away on a stretcher. Now let's see some action quote here. Is okay. that what you call this? Action? <laughs> no quote, I said, <laughs> with the quote lights. There was a right, a right into the solar plexus, and that's exactly the only action we've seen in this round. It was not a lot of action. Yeah, it was a little bit solar plexus and a little bit uh, to the milt side to the side of the body, you know, that's the, the left side. The onus really is on the fighter's boss. Here it is, the premier mixed martial arts organization in the world, Pride Fighting Championships, bringing together the best athletes, and the onus is on them to not only attempt to win the bout, but put on a show. And we did not see much of an entertaining show in that second round. No, absolutely not. It's like you said, it's in the books, but it's not a good read. I hope that they wake up now, and they're gonna have their, their second wind, and then it's gonna be off. So Dos Caras Jr., Kazuhiro Nakamura, they will attempt to pull out all the stops, I'm sure, in round number three. Nakamura looking good with the striking. Dos Caras Jr., not really displaying any of his Greco-Roman wrestling background, has been successful with some of the kicks, but uh, so far I would still say that this is Nakamura's bout to lose, boss. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. It's, it's, it's very difficult, you know, it's, um, what can you say, you know, in a fight like this? Um, yeah, the only thing we can hope for is that he's gonna wake up in round number three and it's gonna be They touch gloves, so show some sportsmanship there, and now let's turn it on. Oh, nice right hand nice connects right hand. by Nakamura. Oh, the they knife to the left. In a stand-up war here. Take down. That was a smart thing to do. Go take down and use that takedown to roll him over. But again, now. it's a go along the ropes, unfortunately, for Nakamura. But he's reining in those left hands now. Missing them. But there's Look now he's going. Connected. Look at him going now. You see now, now oh, he's nice working. Knee. Nice knee. He's doing a good job of mixing it up. Hands to feet is Kazuhiro Nakamura. Nice knee there. He should try to go to the side mount. I think if they come, go a little bit closer to the ropes, the referee will put him and restart him in the center of the ring. Okay, and it would be in his best interest for Dos Caras Jr. to get him into a full guard here. Yeah, but that's what uh, the referee is going to bring them back, as you said, boss, to a bigger piece of real estate. Yes, the center of the ring, and you know what? It's good because you don't want to get choked with a, with a rope. He has a rope in the back of his neck. 
Now, let's see. Into the half guard again, Nakamura just needs to uh, escape and go into the cross side position or gain the full mount. Dos cars should close his guard. Look, he lets he's him escape, there. he's going to the side mount. That's where he's going right now. And he is there, boss. The cross side position and quickly goes to the knee attack, does Nakamura. We are to the final four minutes of this bout between Nakamura and Dos Caras Jr. at Pride Inferno. Well, he's doing a good job by pushing his head down and then knee him. And of course, this is a perfect setup for him to go for an armbar because obviously that's his weapon. Watch this here. Smothering Dos Caras with his weight. Nakamura now almost in the north south position there, but uh, Dos Caras Jr. just trying to explode, do something. He needs to sweep Nakamura, of course, but. Uh, He's got to watch out for north his south. left arm bar now. Watch. Nakamura could jump back. over. Yeah, back into the side mount here. Yeah, uh, and now he can do it for real. He can go for an arm bar a left, uh, on the left arm of Dos Caras. If he plays his card straight, elbows to the body. Hey, there we go. We were talking about it earlier. Yes, we were. And uh, you know, as a competitor decides his moves, boss, he needs to base all of the techniques that he wants to use on high percentages and use his primary throws and uh, shots on the ground to uh, set up the the rest of his itinerary, if you will. And Nakamura doing a good job here of just uh, maintaining control. Now he gains the full match. Armbar coming up. There he is, armbar. And now he's got, he's got an armbar on his right arm. And if he has the time to cross his feet, that could be the end. Watch. He's looking for the armbar, but Dos Caras is going to try to roll it. Now inverted armbar attempt there by Nakamura. And Dos Caras escapes. Triangle choke. And now into the triangle choke. I thought Dos Caras was going to pull out. He's got to move fast because now Dos Caras can still pull out if he wants. He's got to go fast. He's got to switch his hip to the side, make sure that his right leg, his shin bone, is in the same line as the shoulders of uh, Dos Caras, like he's doing right now, you see. A smooth and then transition by Nakamura with that inverted armbar attempt into the triangle choke, but it looked like momentarily Dos Caras Jr. was going to be able to pull out an escape, but right now, no, in the final two minutes. He could, oh, he could win. Oh, he oh, oh. opens the guard and now. That is, this is a big question mark for me why he did that. He could have had there, right there. He, could, he had the triangle. Now it's content to just kind of uh, like a can opener attempt here by Nakamura just uh, pulling down the head of uh, Dos Caras Jr. back into the closed guard. There really isn't much power behind Dos Caras Jr.'s punches and uh, I guess it all comes down to how much energy he's already expended, the fatigue factor, if you will. Yeah, and we got about like one minute left. Um, they got to pull something here. Now uh, he's going to the body with those right hands, and he really does have to just crank it up here, does Dos Caras Jr. Otherwise, I do believe that Kazuhiro Nakamura is on his way to recording a win at Inferno. Yep, I think so too. One minute. He's going to go ice, keeps his hips out. I think Nakamura will go for a submission attempt, probably. I don't know if it's a smart idea, because if you go for an armbar or something, you know, you might give up this position. Yoshida was screaming out instructions to Nakamura. There we go, Dos there Karas we go. Jr. Oh. Almost another attempt at a triangle. Dos Caras uh, Jr., though, here just has to let it all hang out, boss. I mean, there's no time to uh, wait. He needs to start raining down those punches if that's what he wants to do. And uh, right now with the, the low guard there, posture up, get out of the guard, start just kicking and punching. Otherwise, Nakamura doing the smart strategy here. He's just content to absorb and block the blows. And he thinks and he he's done enough. he goes again for an armbar, I think. Nah, there's nothing going to happen anymore. Oh, there, it looked like he was trying to pass the arms to go for a triangle, but it didn't work. Nothing. Yep. And there's the bell, the end of the fight between Dos Caras Jr. and Kazuhiro Nakamura. A, a tremendous first round. The last two rounds, not as eventful, but uh, from where I'm sitting, boss, I do believe this man here, Nakamura, did enough to pull out the victory. Yep, I think so, too. He had to take downs, although... Um, Dos Caras had the escapes. Uh, Dos Caras has something at his knee. He's, he's going through his knee now. Uh, we can't see it. You guys don't can't see it. And girls. <laughs> but we can. There's something going on with his right knee. Let's uh, take a look at the action. Boom, that overhand right. At the back of the neck. It looks like a Mike Tyson punch. 
Here he, he started off great, you see? He started off with the punching, the pushes the face down and the knees now. He started raining knees and punches. You see? He, 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 he did everything here, so he's probably going to take the win. And he's going for the armbar again. Going for the armbar here. I think we can sum up this bout, boss, by saying that Dos Caras Jr. was unable to get off his mark while Nakamura showcased some great striking, some awesome submission attempts, and in the end uh, just was uh, the better man on this evening. Yep. Nakamura. Nakamura. Via unanimous decision, Kazuhiro Nakamura scores the Duke at Pride Fighting Championships Inferno. Yep, he's not happy. Uh, there's not a smile on his face. He won, but he knows. He wanted to. Yeah, he heard the audience. Up. Nobody was cheering. I mean, there was no support whatsoever. Well, they lost him after round one because they had him during the first round and electrifying uh, opening 10 minutes. But yep. you're right, the second round. Uh, was uh, very static, and then the third round, uh, not a lot of action as well. But in any event, Kazuhiro Nakamura, where do you see uh, his 2004 year going? This guy definitely has a bright future uh, in the Yoshida camp. Um, what kind of plans do you think he has in store for 2004 as he's getting ready to address the crowd here at Osaka Castle Hall? I don't know. Uh, you know, he should but work on stamina more. You know, and um, uh, he should be a great force. I mean, he's got great balance. He obviously, he worked his hands. We saw a few punches connecting. He's throwing with power. They're haymakers, but hey, they have power behind them. And for Dos Caras Jr., what do you uh, suggest? Uh, exactly the same thing. Um, I think these two were matched up real well, and that's why it was a kind of a boring match. They definitely they say that styles make fights. Yep. And similar styles, well, sometimes there is that uh, proverbial stalemate. Right now, we're being told that uh, Nakamura is apologizing to the fans. Not uh, very impressed as well with what happened there, and he's promising uh, better things next time. And uh, definitely a star on the rise here in the land of the rising sun is Kazuhiro Nakamura, who picks up the win over Dos Caras Jr. at Pride FC's Inferno.